Hello dears, welcome to the third video of this Civil 3D course. In previous video, you saw that when we imported data to our survey database, some line work was automatically drawn, some figure was drawn, and some point was automatically assigned with a unique marker style. This all happened due to the line work code sets, figure prefix database, and description keys. In this video, we are going to explore the line work code sets. Civil 3D have a very unique functionality that when we took the data from site with our controller, which can be a total station or a GPS, if we have given the proper codes from the field and we import that data with these codes, by assigning these codes in the Civil 3D line work code sets, Software will do lot of our line work by itself and we can save tons of our hours. Here, if I zoom this figure, you can see this point triple nine have a code and this code is having two parts. The first part, which is form, is the description and then there is a letter B, which is a special code. These special codes tell the software either to start a line to continue a line or end the line. Now, when we imported this data, this B tell the software that line is starting from here. How it tell to the software? To understand this, we need to open our line work code sets. From our tool space, we will go to the survey tab. From survey tab, our survey database is already opened. If it is not opened, such as I close this one, just right click here and select from here open for edit. Once you open for edit, you will see many functions there. Here in the end, there is the option line work code sets. If we expand here, there's right so far, it's only one there because we haven't created anyone. If you want to create new one, just right click and click on the new. Once we click on the new, give a name here such as I'm going to give it sample dash one. Click OK. There are the codes. Now here, if we check here in the special codes, this is the area where we are going to focus special codes. Here, the first thing is begin, where the special code is B. This is what we have here, special code is B. So when we imported the point, software read this B and start drawing this line. After taking the start from the point triple nine, it start looking for every next point with the same description and keep them connected with a polyline. When it comes to this corner, now the special code is changed, which is a CLS. If we go back to our code sets, I will just right click and click on the edit to open our code sets. Here, if you can see, the fourth option is close and the special code is CLS. So whenever software find this code CLS, it take this point and take it back to the starting point to make it a close figures. There are some other codes. If we want to continue, we are using C. If we want to end a line, we will use E. And we have the choice to edit these codes. If I want to edit, I will just click and I can type whatever I want here. These are the defaults of Civil 3D. We can update them according to our needs. Then in the second half, there are some for the line segment codes. Recall a point. If we want to use a point for the two different directions or two different uh, objects, we can use code RPN. There is a connect point, CPN. Then there are some code for the curves. Beginning of curve, which is BC. Also, we have a privilege to change them here. If we want to make it, I can make it a PC. Whatever we want, we can do the changes here. I'm going to keep same BC, end of curve, EC, circle, or on curve. I'm going to close this one. Here, if we go to our next figure, you can see we have a description. Then we have a special code. It start drawing the line. And when it come to this point, 1008, it just took this last special code, which is CLS. It means software have to close the figure from this point to the first point. So it draw a line and it make it a closed figure. Now, if we come to this corner, 
here i can see that i have some points which have the description of fence and if we go to the next point there is a description fence with a special code cls which means it should be closed but there is no any line work yet done if i come here i can see that there is a point which is fence but the special code here is st which is for the start but if we open our code sets from the civil 3d we can see here that the beginning is not with st it's starting with the b so remember the code which is given from the field should match with the codes which are assigned in the civil 3d so now here we have a two ways either to change this one and then to redraw the line work but in this case all these figure will become unvalid because we have to change all these codes the second option if you have a this kind of code that you have code in the fields which is not matching with the other codes and the codes given in the civil 3d we can edit them here in the drawing to edit this i just going to select this point and from the contextual ribbon i'm going to this icon survey point properties if i click over here there is a new dialog box here in this dialog box i can see the multiple information of this point but what i need to check is the description i come over here i'll select this double click now i'm going to change this st to b which is the code in our line work code sets so i delete the st i type b i'm just going to hit okay once i hit okay you saw that the code is already changed but my command is still active and here i can see select survey point object i don't have any other point to uh, edit so i'm just going to hit escape once i hit escape i got a message here you have modified the description of one or more survey points would you like to update your line work yes i need to do so because i want to draw my boundary line fence line i'm just going to hit ok yes once i hit the yes there is a process line work dialog box from here we are going to assign our current uh, line work code sets which is a sample here so here it's already selected so far we have only one if you have more than one you can just click here and choose the right one from the list so it's okay sample that's fine we are just going to click okay our line work has drawn and you can see now there is a unique boundary line is drawn if we have to draw this line manually it need lot of time and there's always the chances of the mistake but with the proper codes we have drawn it within no time and with very much accuracy the second part if you want to create a new line work code set so far there is only one which is sample to create a new just select this one right click new give a name here i am going to give it sample dash one click okay and if you want to change the codes here you can change the codes here and it shows i don't want a b i am going to use st c continue i will keep it same close cls horizontal h whatever changes you want you can make the changes you will hit just okay and here is there is a new line work code sets there are two code sets you can see one of them is bold and highlighted in the black but the second one is not highlighted this highlight show that this is the current one which is in the used if you want to change you want to this one correct the current uh, code sets just double click okay and make current select right click and make current now you can see that this is highlighted in the black and bold but this is the dimmed one so now it's showing that this is the one which is a current line work code sets we are not using this one we are using the sample so i'm going to make it current and that's it in our next video we will talk about the figure prefix database that how these figures are drawn and why these lines are just a simple white lines so till next video goodbye see you